Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Praetorian. And Jinx here. And welcome to Tribes of Midgard on the PlayStation 5. So this is a new game that just came out today. It's a roguelite, and it's kind of difficult to explain the genre outside of that because it kind of fits in with a lot of different types of games. Uh, but it's $19.99 on the PlayStation Store. That gets you the standard edition. So a pretty good price for what you're getting here. Uh, it is a multiplayer game, and Jinx and I will be playing together, as you see her on the screen. And while I'm playing on the PlayStation 5, Jinx is on the PS4 Pro, so you can play together. And buying one copy of the game, regardless if it's the PS5 version or the PS4 one, will get you both versions of the game. One interesting thing to note is that the PS4 version is actually a little bit larger as far as gigabytes on your console than the PlayStation 5. It was like three times longer. Uh, it took a while for Jinx to get it downloaded, but it is still a smaller game overall. Uh, it is, again, very much a multiplayer game, but you can play solo play if you so desire. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and hop into it. There's only these two modes, the Saga mode and then the Survival, which you have to be level 3 to access. As you see, Jinx and I are both level 2, so we have not been playing very long. We are noobs. We've done two matches so far, and uh, first one was pretty horrible. The second one was a little bit better, uh, but hopefully... It's challenging. Yeah, it is. It is quite challenging. We and have up to 10 people. We're going to just do our group. Uh, that's going to be it. You can see from our characters that we were naked. <laughs> uh, but we do have that shield, which I think is just cosmetic yeah. we had earned. And we do have a starting kit. Uh, so we'll actually start with weapons and gear. Uh, this is something we unlocked once we got to, I think, level 2, right? Yeah. Or maybe we did some I think, quest. Yeah, I think it was the achievement thing. Like, you killed so many dudes or yeah, something. Yeah, we did something, and so we got a starting kit here. You only have one starting kit. We've unlocked two of them. One of them will allow us to start out with the tools that you need to be able to collect resources. Uh, we don't have that one enabled. The other one is this villager starting set, which gives you a weapon, a shield, and, and armor from the start here. I almost thought about getting the start of uh, the gatherer set the gather set just because you get souls from every little thing that you do mm -hmm. so you'll see we can't collect the stone deposits or the trees because we don't start out with any tools here guys that'd probably help for jinx i went different places we need sticks but yeah we got to collect <laughs> the flint here and the sticks in order to make our beginning tools and be able to start working on a uh, rebuild a quarry that's cool yeah you can actually rebuild a lot of stuff there's like a village and a farm out there ah wolves we never oh, really got that sword. far <laughs> before. So yeah, let's get all this flint collected. Still looking for some wood. That's all we need, and then we'll be able to get some stuff crafted, which we might have enough now. And then we'll head over to the village. Uh, but essentially, this is the game. You run around collecting resources, fighting enemies, collecting souls. Just destroying the land. Mm-hmm. Ravaging the land. Uh, this here is the village. As you can see on a little mini map up there, there's I think three entrances to it, and you can see that we can build gates, all that kind of stuff. There's a lot of stuff to do here in the village, guys. Uh, but the key here is this tree. You need to protect the tree. You'll see up in the top right corner there is a. Uh, it tells you what day we're on, whether it's daylight or, or sunlight, and, or excuse me, whether it's sunlight or nighttime, and uh, also shows you the health of the tree. So you got to keep that health up. If the tree dies, then you lose the game. I gotta restart. So we're gonna start out by making, not potions, because we don't have that stuff yet. We need to make uh, the tools. Get an axe, mm -hmm. a pickaxe. Lumber axe, and a pickaxe. So yeah, we had plenty of stuff for creating all that. So that allows us to start collecting additional resources. Just getting wood and down. iron and, and all that kind of good stuff. I guess I'll go north. Now it can help to stick together, uh, because then you can fight some of the tougher enemies. And we did not equip those. But Normally, we're not gathering as many resources as fast. Mm-hmm. Normally these auto equip. Yeah, they did. Oh, yours did not auto equip. Oh, I made two lumber axes. <laughs> oh, my bad. I was supposed to make well, a pickaxe an extra and a lumber axe. Because it's gonna. You can also repair the items. Uh, that requires souls, though, rather than just, as you can see with here, we only need the resources. I don't know how I created two of those guys. That's my bad. There's a workbench to repair your items. 
But again, that requires souls and pretty much all the yeah, important everything stuff. Everything that you like upgrade costs souls. Uh -huh. Same with like building stuff. Yeah, cr you know, building stuff out here in the world takes souls. You know, building up fortifications of your village costs souls. Upgrading your like stores so you get more items available that costs souls. And then of course your tree requires souls. Your tree's health, that's souls, guys. So you basically need souls for everything. Everything. Mhm. Mm These are little health thingies that you can use. Start running low on health. We can also get some potions, once we get some ingredients for that. But yeah, again, it is a roguelite, meaning that you that lose Yeah, you lose most progress when you die. And like each time you play, you get a little bit further. So I think in our first match we got three days. And then the the second one we got four days. <laughs> so it wasn't wasn't much longer. Uh, but the reason for that is because we have this uh big monster guy, big giant. That comes to destroy your base. The Jotnar. Mm-hmm. Ah, it's cold. And he is uh, quite challenging. Uh, the first time we played, we didn't even like care about him at all. And then by the time he came to the base, there was just no, no dealing with him. His health is just too damn high. And then he just gobbles up the tree and yep. game over. And destroys your tree. Uh, the second time, we started working on him a bit earlier. Uh, so by the time we got where he got to the base, we had him down to... Uh, like a third of yeah, the health. Yeah, about a third. I was pretty proud of that playthrough. But we did not defeat him. So we have not yet defeated the giants. Maybe this will be the one, guys. So once you get a level up, you go into your inventory or into your menu. And then you can do your blessings. If it's your first level up for this match, you have to pick which class you want to be. You start out with two classes, unlocked, ranger, and warrior. We're going to pick a warrior here. Jinx is probably going to play as a ranger. Of course, a ranger. And so that gives us our first ability here which is trigger a second attack every two combo attacks that's the warrior's first ability i think the ranger might have a different one i've actually never played as ranger you we got move, a big monster over here. Upgrades that move quick, and he is move seems far too high on a level to really be messing with this guy i'll try and fight him oh, my axe broke. yeah i don't think this is gonna work guys no more lumberjacking for me i probably won't oh, be shit. worth the task or the uh Effort. I think I need to like dodge that. I think it's doing too much damage. Damn it. I always feel like I've gone so far away from the camp and then I turn around and it's right there. So we can see that his <laughs> eyes turn red when he's about to attack. That kind of gives us a clue to, to dodge him, but I'm not dodging in That's time. That's like his critical <laughs> attack. Like those can be blocked. Oh lord. Oh lord. I'm trying to pick up the items, guys. We got close to defeating him, but as you can see, our health is in a garbage position. So we need to find one of those uh, health things. He's faster than us, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> Run him around in circles. I guess we can collect this. I'm... Yeah, I don't think that one gives us any health, though. All right, well, I upgraded the blacksmith. All right, so that's nice. Jinx already has the blacksmith upgraded. So that'll give us new weapons that we can get. All right, so we healed up a little bit, guys. Maybe just enough to fight this. Finish him off. Oh, nope, not if I do that. <laughs> All right, so you can see that I've been knocked out. So Jinx can bring me back. I could. If she was close. Too far. We're just going to give up, guys. <laughs> and essentially what happens is you drop your uh, your box with all your souls in it, and then you got to go back and get it. You notice we got a notification there about our village being attacked. Every night, your village does get attacked, and you have to defend it. So that's the, kind of the thing that keeps you coming back to the village, is you have to go defend it every night. Every night. I'm here. Okay, so Jinx will defend it while I go get my gear. Hopefully, I am up for the task. <laughs> it's best to have all the players there, so you just don't take as so much damage. It's the first night, though, so it shouldn't be too bad. Hey, you do want to keep your... uh. Keep your tree from taking too much damage. But yeah, we got our loot. We got our souls. All that kind of good stuff. Although it doesn't look like we did get our souls. Maybe he ate them. I don't know. Oh, he's back to full health. Alright, so there's no point on even trying to fight this guy then. That's unfortunate. Alright, so we're just going to run from, run back home and help Jinx out. Not yeah, I don't, yet. I don't know why I didn't get uh, my souls. That's unfortunate. We had like 250. 
Alright, they're coming. So yeah, they should start coming now. And so yeah, they, they come from three directions. We could unless you block them off. The materials. Yeah, we got pretty close to getting the materials to block one off, but yeah, some of those materials... You gotta fight some higher level enemies to, to get them. I've got the top right. Okay. So the enemies will show up purple on the map here. So we see that they're coming down in the south. Oh no. I never used my spin attack. I should have. The what, the special abilities come with your weapon. So this is the villager sword. It has this windmill attack. Shoot. Should be blocking some of these attacks, guys. I never block. <laughs> <laughs> it helps. It does. I guess. Why block when you can attack? Alright, so taking those ones out. Looks like they're coming up here in the north. But yeah, we want to keep them away from our tree. You notice the villagers are all helping out as well. They'll eventually lose their health. They don't die, though. And then you have to... Yeah, you can revive them. And there are actually benefits to reviving them as well. Yeah, especially the healer, because she will be throwing out heals. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she heals you. We survived. Okay, so that's day one, guys. Knocked oh, out the first day. Sword. What? I, oh, okay. Yeah, you know what? I saw this up here, and we never even bothered looking at it. Well, because I went inside. Yeah, and, and we're pretty the, we're pretty newbie, guys. The golden altar. Yeah, this gives you some good stuff. Okay, so what all do we have to do with this one? Just oh, okay. Do stuff. Yeah, you gotta go talk to certain people on the map. I guess we want to do one of these easy ones. Sure. Do we each do our own? I don't know. Looks at that one and see if it. Oh yeah. Which one did you do? Uh, the first one. The Ashby train. Yeah, I think so. It's a medium. <laughs> oh, maybe I already took the quest. Maybe only oh, one of us maybe. gets the quest each. Okay. All right, so we're gonna want to upgrade our weapon, guys, since Jinx has upgraded the the weaponsmith guy, blacksmith. Hello. And so now he has additional weapons available, including the villager sword two, which you need the the first villager sword in order to to craft this. However, this does require two wolf teeth, which we haven't found any wolf yet, so any wolves yet, so we can't get that. All right, so we'll need to go out and fight some wolves before we can upgrade the sword. Say, say. But yeah, you can choose to either use a sword, an axe, a hammer, or a bow. Since oh, we can't hell? upgrade our sword, we'll just go ahead and uh, use some of our souls to repair it. And maybe repair the pickaxe as well. And we'll just give the rest of our souls to the, the poor tree. Keep it alive. Is he sad? So is the quest marked on the map? Because again, we've never done the quest before, guys. I think it's supposed to be. Maybe I think it is. I think oh, it's you look blue. At your big map. It'll show you. Okay. Oh, yours is. Oh, far to the south. Oh, Jeez. okay. So I guess we'll start running down there, guys. See if we can't get this quest completed. It says it's easy. I guess we'll see what this game's version of easy is. <laughs> I guess just running to someone and talking to them isn't too bad. But yeah, you can see you can rebuild stuff, like you can rebuild this farm here. It requires a lot of like uh, more advanced ingredients that we don't have yet. I find myself trying to chop down... Uh oh. Yep, there's the big old giant. I find myself trying to chop down and, and, and just gather all the resources that you can. Yeah, me too. Just because they give you souls. I just want them souls. Oh, yeah, big guy. Yeah, this is taking quite a while to get through, guys. This does give us some better ingredients. They're pretty useful for crafting stuff back at the house. Yeah, you see we also get experience every time we smack one of these. We get five experience, so that's another way to level up your character. But we actually have a level up, so let's go ahead and get the power within, which is going to uh, grant us a fourth mana bar for special abilities. Oh, that'd be nice. Mm -hmm. What does your uh, upgrades give you for the ranger? Um, I don't know, because I'm dying. <laughs> <laughs> I know your character's supposed to be like a lot faster, right? Yeah. Which I There's guess you'd expect. Of, like, making me quicker. I don't know how to get up these. I did. Have you figured out how to get up stuff? No, I think you gotta build a ramp, but I don't oh, know okay. how that would get you up to the next level. So I, think I guess maybe that makes you sense. Can just get down. 
I think the ramp would get you up a level because at the on the ramp's uh, description it says use it to to build up the next levels. I guess that makes sense. I don't know how high level this guy is. It says that we're at sufficient power here, so he might be a little bit challenging, but I'm not like blocking anything. I might be able to smack until he's dead. <laughs> All right, so we did get a werewolf fang. We need wolf fang though. Like same thing, right? I should have got some potions too while I was back at the crib. Now you'll find these points that you can fast travel from and to, and so that's key. Allow like you get around the map a lot quicker. I just glanced up at your screen. I thought you were hiding. Here we go. Got some wolves. There we go. Excellent. So we got those wolf teeth and. uh We'll be able to make use of those back of the house. I'd prefer to fast travel back if we can find fast travel points. Let's show that all our progress down here wouldn't be wasted. Let's see where we're at. Good God, yeah, that is really far away. So much for an easy quest. Yeah, I don't <laughs> think we're gonna make it down there, guys. Easy, sure, but far. Uh huh. So far, yeah, mine was closer. Kyoto's pee. And I was like, oh, I think I can make it. But I don't think that I can. Did, didn't you die trying to get down there? Well, I did once, yes. Yeah, it's like, we were just not going to talk about that. Oh, uh, there was actually, that? yeah. Yeah, I needed silver for my more advanced armor. That was in our last match. I was like, damn, I don't even know where to find silver. Uh, There's a bigger, tougher pig. Got a boar out here. Alright, so I think we're going to go back to the crib, guys. Try and get some better weapons. And also some potions. Having some potions would be pretty helpful. So we'll run on back over to the house. And it looks like we're not that far away. Yeah, there's lots of silver to the north. Okay. So yeah, I'll get that. Yeah, if we can get that out. I don't know if there's any way for you to give me items, though, is there? I thought it all goes to the chest. It might. I don't know. I'm not entirely sure how it works. But yeah, if we wanted to, say, build this, this gate here, you can see we need two wrought iron... Three cut stone, five wooden board, and 200 souls. And we can do that right from here. So we can donate them. So there we go. We're just lacking two stone, one wooden board, and then of course the souls. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and get the better weapon. Since I think we should have the wolf teeth now. I'm almost to my person. We could also switch over to this weapon, which gives a different ability. It's a tornado. Overall, it does more damage. Uh, but I like the whirlwind better than the tornado. You don't want a tweaker? It was alright. I was using it for a little while. I found the whirlwind to be a little bit more useful, though. For my kind of style of playing. Because the tornado is like a more ranged attack. And you have not unlocked. You have not upgraded her, right? The armor? No. Just the weapons, man. So you can see here that we need silver or small bones for her. And yeah, it looks like I do have your silver, Jinx. So we probably That's should get cool. her upgraded. I just gathered some stone too, so that might help. Uh, yes, that's right. We wanted to get some potions here. So we go to the alchemist. Over here. And get some health potions. There you go. We can carry three of them. Now I guess we might as well stick around here. Yeah, I'll we'll go ahead and stick stick around here, guys. I'm gonna upgrade this armor real quick. What you just do with holding the L1, and then you supply the souls. All right. Well, you make it to your person, and they have like a gathering quest for you. So <laughs> that's not the end of it. I see. All right. So we actually can make a better shield, or we can get a better helmet. Kind of want better pants. So it'd be the raider pants is what we'd be able to get. I like to protect you my bet. genitalia region and my butt, yeah. And we don't have any any leather. Okay. I'll we'll have to wait then. I thought I just got Yeah, some. so did I. We're fighting on them Wasn't piggies and enough, stuff. I guess. So yeah, we'll stay at the crib here, guys, so we can fight the uh the upcoming attack on the village. I don't know how far away Jinx is, but I'm far. Uh, Jinx is doing a quest, so unfortunately she's not able to, to help us out here. I'm waiting on my cooldown for my teleportation. Mm. So yeah, 
Alright, we'll just focus on getting these guys defeated over here. I'm surprised I didn't gather more souls up here. Like it said, it was an increased mm -hmm. difficulty area. I think they do get more difficult, like the night attacks every night. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure though. Are there a lot? I mean, it's not too bad. I feel like I could probably handle it. And of course, we got the villagers helping out as well. Yeah, I think we should be able to take care of it. You should be fine staying up north if that's what you want to do, Jinx. Alright. Oh, there's a lot over here, though. I think that villager that was protecting this side got knocked out, guys. Ah, uh, okay, I found the dragon. <laughs> oh, you had to fight a dragon? <laughs> yeah, the same guy that you're fighting. Oh, oh okay. No, peace. <laughs> <laughs> He's really not that bad, because you can easily avoid his hits. I just wasn't doing a very, well, uh, very good job doing that. Oh no, there's two of them. Okay, never mind. Oh, we are. <laughs> we're in pickles. Yeah, we are not doing so well. You can see that we're losing. <laughs> our tree is losing health, guys. We're sad in that. Mm hmm. All it's right. It's just a lot further than I thought it was. So we survived another day, guys, but uh, our tree lost a lot of health. So the, overall, that, that second night did not go well. I'll give it all the souls that I have. I think we are not focusing enough on keeping the tree alive, frankly. And of course the giant is already on the map. There's that red arrow that's pointing to the giant's location. And so we can start going down there and fighting him now. One thing to consider though is the, the earlier you go, the further away they are. Let's go and get the blessing put into place as well. We're gonna do- Does it show it on the big map where he's at? The sword mastery. No, just the general direction. Mm-hmm. I imagine he's pretty far here. I think he arrives at like day four, day three, something like that. Yeah. I think, I think it's, it's actually depends on the monster. Maybe some of them are quicker than others. Because in our first play, the, the, the monster got there, the giant got there on, on day three. And the second one, they got there on day four, which kind of explains why we got to day four. It took longer for the monster to get there. Might have also been us fighting it. Maybe it delayed it some. Yeah, I guess it would kind of slow it down. Mm hmm. Because, yeah, it's kind of gotta fight you and so yeah it is beneficial to, to head after him and just there it seems like there's no way to defeat them in time if you wait till they come to the village mm -hmm. yeah because there's just so much health mm -hmm. yeah they have a lot of health guys so yeah i feel like we haven't done much here so far not enough so I think this playthrough is clearly a failure. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. We expected nothing less. As soon as you turn the camera on. It's like, oh, this is going to go bad. Mm -hmm. See, like I just turned around. <laughs> like, yeah, never mind. I'm going to mess with this guy. <laughs> all right, so we got the leather that we needed in order to get some stuff crafted. Are you That's focusing on killing? Uh, no, these guys are just attacking me, so... <laughs> You're just being harassed. I'm just being all. harassed, yeah. I was running towards the, the monster just to see where he's at. Yeah, I'm gonna go with you. See who it is. Mm -hmm. See which one it is. I really don't know what we'll to reach him, though. He's probably gonna be pretty far away. The stag. Oh, yeah, so Jinx did that last time. I didn't do it. I'm gonna go pet yeah, I think I'm gonna go... out here. I'm gonna go touch it. It's to the right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I see it on the map there. Oh, that's Jinx. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, I'll run over to the, the stag since I haven't done that yet. Go pet it. Is that all you do? You just gotta touch it? Yeah, you just touch it. I think there are other critters or monsters out mm -hmm. there around it. But... There's loot in these places, so you can get some good stuff in there. Get treasure. Maybe we'll hit it on the way back if we have time, guys. I don't know how far away this this stag is. Oh yeah, maybe Nix will do it. Alright, so it looks like we got a, a pond over here blocking us. We should probably take a look at how far away this thing is. I think oh. it's far, but not too far. I attacked the boar's <laughs> lover. She came after me. I got honorable treasure. Okay, yeah, that's not too far. I can see it. Oh. 
Yeah, even the pigs seem to get aggressive if you attack their <laughs> anybody nearby them. Angry pigs. Mm -hmm. Don't attack their family. Hmm, I'm not entirely sure how you get up there. Oh, you get over man, there. Up there on a cliff. I don't know. I mean, there might be a way around it. So far, I'm not seeing one. I guess we'll kill these piggies real quick, guys. But this game seems to be all about time, like many roguelites. It's a, it's a battle against time. Wait, you just gotta hurry. Yeah, you gotta hurry. Uh, me talking so much and trying to explain things as we play is probably gonna make everything go a little bit slower. But yeah, it's very much a race against time to try and get as much as you can get done. Because, yeah, you need all the resources. Mm -hmm. It's really just about gathering the souls, though. Because, like, yeah, you need the resources, but it's the souls, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you get it's souls for, for everything you do, so... Yeah, it looks like I should be able to reach the stag here. Did you get to it? Is that it right there? Yep, that's it. Oh, you gotta hold it. Okay. Oh, no. uh, <laughs> I thought you were attacking the stag. <laughs> Don't do it, dog. Alright, so yeah, there's enemies up here protecting this stag, I guess. Maybe they're interested in touching it, too. Everybody wants to touch it. <laughs> it's so beautiful. I don't remember what we got when we did it last time. Souls and... Event, event fragment. Fragment. Which I'm not sure what that is, but... I cannot pick these souls up. I have, I have huh, was it, Are you like... Too. Do you get filled up? I don't... Uh, I'm at 9.89. Normally so. I get rid of the souls by this point. I guess we'll find out. Nope. No, we're not filled up. We just can't get them. Yeah, I think maybe you already got them and the thing just... Just not disappearing. disappearing. Like a bug or something. Yeah. Yeah, maybe. Uh, let's go and upgrade again, guys. Get another blessing. Uh, so we're going to do... I think we're going to go down this way, guys. Yeah, let's do this one. Go down the reckless roll. Avoid damage when evading. That would have helped with like that... Uh, when I was fighting that, what Jinx calls the dragon. Is that what he's called? <laughs> I don't or? know. I think he's a wyvern. Yeah, the big lizard dude. Because I kept dodging him, but not actually uh, getting far enough away. So he shouldn't have been able to do any damage if I had that ability whenever I was rolling. That seems like something useful to have. I got an ability that slows down enemies when I hit them. Oh, well, that's nice. I'd, I don't know if it applies to the big guy, but that would be super helpful yeah. if it does. <laughs> All right, so we got a little bit sidetracked in our quest to go find the, the giant. So now we're going to start heading back over there. I think it'll probably be night before we ever get there. You can see the uh, the clock is up there on the right. And good God, our uh, tree is not doing well on health. Oh, yeah, because doesn't it lose it slowly over time? Yes, it does seem to lose it slowly over time. But I think that's more than anything is from that night. When I was fighting by myself. Oh, I got all sucked up. Yeah, it seems like uh, we're getting a lot of damage. That guy's was slurping it. Mm -hmm. We got a lot of souls, though, to grant it and help it out. Yeah, I've got quite a few, too. Alright, so this one of these encampments. Let's go in and uh, knock it out and get the loot, guys. So, yeah, these are the little treasure chests. Get some booty. Treasure. Mm -hmm. Just a regular old booty, that's all. Let me kick it open. <laughs> Alright. Awesome. These are bombs, by the way. Smack them and then they explode. You can never get them to work on the enemy. It works, it's just they... You gotta time it just yeah, right. Yeah, you gotta time it just right. So we've already broken our our axe, guys, so we can't, can't chop any more trees down. I hurry up and get back home. I feel like I'm going the wrong way. I guess we're moving towards the uh, the big guy. Oh, yeah, I'm going the wrong way too. Uh, we got something, a golden egg. Okay. Hmm. Wonder what you do with that. I have no idea. Can you eat it? You would eat a golden egg? Yeah. Imagine you need to sell it or something. No, it's gonna get like magical properties. All right, so I got a few goodies here, guys. But yeah, this is clearly not going to lead us. I don't know. I'm surprised I haven't found a teleporter yet. That would have been helpful if we had. And can't go any of these All ways, right. guys. We are back at the base. I think you'll probably have to do it alone. I don't know if I I'm going to get back. Yeah, because I do not have a... Uh... Let me see if I got a better round. Nope, I'm really far away. 
Well, that sucks. Oh, okay. Here's a, a teleporter thingy. Alright, so if we move over to that, I'll be able to teleport back to Jinx. If I can figure out how to get over to it. If you hit R3, you'll teleport back to uh, the base. Oh, do you? Yeah. Oh, okay. I see. Alright, well, let's... I might as well unlock this, though. Unless, you know, you're going to lose the, the base if I don't get there yeah. now. I need you. Mm, I hope it's not up here, guys. Yeah, it might be up here, which means I'd you're have to use... in the tree! Oh, yep, the tree's losing health. Hmm. Oh, yeah, I think I should be able to get the teleporter. Here we go. So yeah. this will allow us to teleport on nice. over here. Right, so let's go and fast travel back home. You can fast travel to any of the points you've unlocked. Hmm. So we should be able to get back in time to help Jinx. Their sword's about to break. So that's a negative. Oh, Ooh, wow. No. Okay, hold up. I gave all my souls. I gave some souls. But yeah, we're about to lose a tree, guys. Yeah. This is the first time we've lost the tree the from, uh, simple dudes. yeah, the simple dudes. It's always been the giants that took our trees we out. Survived. Just barely. Oh, man. Oops. I don't know if you need to heal. I accidentally yeah, I activated her. She has a cooldown for how often you can use her. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, that was a bit rough. Also, my sword the broke. Alright, so let's go ahead and get all this stuff repaired, guys. Luckily, we had an axe here. The villager axe. I found a club. Alright, let's go ahead and repair these up. We want to get rid of one of them. Although, I think if you drop it, it just, uh... It just stays on the ground the whole time. Yeah, it does. We have some traps here. Also, we have... Uh, the ability to, to construct here on the ground. And then we have all these. Okay. So let's go ahead and... I was going to use these for upgrading. I think we're going to give these to the tree. Because yeah. the tree's not doing well. I'm going to hurry up and try to gather as much as I can to give to the tree. Yeah, poor tree is dying, guys. So yeah, this is so far the worst that we've done. <laughs> I, mean, I guess we're on day four. But yeah, the, the tree is not doing well. Yeah. And we haven't even begun to fight the giant yet. Yeah, and it's probably going to be at our doorstep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can't really see where the giant is. It might be in the direction of our uh, our quest. So we'll start running over that way. It looks like it's around that same area. Yeah, we'll head over there. See if we can't do the quest. If not, uh... Try and find this giant. Do a little bit of damage to it. It's a slower one. Yeah, it definitely seems like it's uh, one of the slower ones. That yeah, it seems like it should have been uh, here by now. It's just taking its sweet time. I wonder if my character is going to get cold. Probably. Because, yeah, there was uh, this one hot place. Yep. So you yeah, can see the little meter filling up. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know if you need, like, different clothes to allow you to s stay out here longer. But yeah, you guys can see I cannot stay here very long at all. Oh, we don't have a an axe. I thought we repaired that. Apparently not. So yeah, I think we'll start taking damage. Yep. So we need to get back out of it. Like, hurry. So yeah, there's only so much we can do in that cold area because we just don't don't have very good cold protection. How's it going? Hmm. I said, how's it going? Just. Just trying to make it home, yeah, Jinx. somebody chasing you. <laughs> it's probably been on my tail for a while. Yeah, I don't know how I didn't get the uh, the pickaxe repaired. I, I could have sworn I, I repaired it. So I have to go back to the house and get this repaired, or else we won't be able to chop any of these trees down. Since I've found one, I kind of want to put it in the golden altar and see what it does. What, for the golden horn? Yeah. Might as well. Although, you know what, guys? I bet we don't have enough souls to... To repair this. Might just have to make another one. I find that remaking those is worth it. Because the souls you know are what? just too precious. I have one. It's just not equipped. I saw the branches appear before my eyes. <laughs> Let's just equip that, guys. There we go. Good job. Alright. So, yeah, we'll go back out. Although, I don't think we'll better get over to our quest. Just because it, yeah, that's it's in the cold area. Yeah, than it looks. Yeah. I don't think we'll better do that, guys. 
So Jinx actually got up here to the north and unlocked a, a travel thing, but she didn't uh, she didn't actually unlock it. Or she found one. Alright, so that's unfortunate. Let's just use our travel point. Oops, up here. Alright, so I used the golden altar and it gave me a rune mm -hmm. that made me go faster. Okay. So I don't so Jinx is super fast now. I guess. I don't she know runs how excited I am about These guys that. are like waiting for me. It was like a damn ambush. Because like the golden horns and stuff you can use for the Oh, we still got the axe equipped. Alright, so let's go and change up our weapon. I don't think this does anywhere near as much damage. Alright, so yeah, we'll go up here. I don't know if they'll do damage to their own stuff. I don't think so. No, they don't. But you can hit them through it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I see that. I can't hit you. Unless they do like a power move. Hmm, yeah. Maybe it is just a bug. And you picked it up and it's just yeah, not uh, disappearing. Yeah, I think you got it. Just, I can't see it. Or you, you can still see it. And we'll gather up all this stuff here, just get these souls, try and help our tree out. I don't think it's going to make much of a difference, though. Yeah, I don't either. I like, think once the giants come, we're, we're done. Alright, so they're not doing well in health right now. Let's go and heal up, guys. Treasure should fix her. Give us some health. Alright, awesome. I actually got some health from that guy. Right, so hopefully that will blow them up. Maybe not. Anybody left? It's an honorable treasure, level two. Let's see what it gets us. Not much. Uh, we got a new ramp. So we could use that. Got some health potions. Got a new club. We got us some good stuff, Jinx. You're being pessimistic. <laughs> it's not enough. <laughs> Alright, so we'll just explore around here, see what we can find. Then we'll head back to the house, and it seems like the giant is, so is getting pretty close. We'll get a notification when they're, like, at the village. Oh, <laughs> speaking of which. Yep. There it is. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and run back home, guys. Yeah. Again, I don't think it much matters. I think this will be another loss for us. Which is unfortunate. What we can do is try and use the, uh, the souls to keep the tree alive a little bit longer, but yeah, I don't think it's going to matter much. And no. also, we're going to have the monsters here, too. Oh, All Lord. At the same time. Mm -hmm. Alright, well, I'm fast traveling back. I still don't see it. Like, it says that it's close, but. It does give you that warning pretty, pretty early, I'd say. Alright, so let's get all of our stuff repaired. That club isn't bad. It's not a great item, but yeah, it's it's decent. Yeah, we'll use the souls initially to repair all of our items here. And then we'll just put the rest into the tree, which again isn't isn't much here. Yeah, the the Jotun seems to still be in the snowy area. Oh, I found it. Oh, you found it? Yeah, it's in the snowy area. Jinx found it there. Hesitant to go help you out because they're supposed to be attacking, you know, the regular yeah. enemies. The night enemies are supposed to be attacking here. Let's go and heal up. I think yeah. this is the ice guy. Oh, it figures. I find him and then my friggin' bow breaks. <laughs> now you'll notice that we have these effects down here in the bottom. These are our runes, guys. So these are the, the runes that we have, and this is what they're currently doing for us. There's the golden egg, by the way. Seems useless unless... Oh, we're being attacked right now. Alright, so yeah, we'll take care of these little guys. Well, Jinx, what are you doing? Are you trying, trying to find to the big back. guy? Yeah, a lot of monsters here, guys. <laughs> yeah, we're in trouble. Watch the little guys end up destroying our... Yeah, before the, <laughs> the big guy ever gets there. Alright, we'll give all the souls we got and try and keep it alive, but yeah, this is... 
unfortunately not a good situation. Is this the big guy? Huh? Certainly bigger than anything else. Oh, not, he's not no. really a giant though. He's like a little, a little huh. two enemy. Yeah, I haven't seen him well, before. That's not cool. Yeah, right when we have all this other stuff happening. Oh, oh he does a crap ton of damage with that. Oh. Oh, I put yeah, my these, trap down. Oh, We're in no. trouble. Oh, these little spider guys blow up. I'm knocked out. Yeah, me too. All right, might as well just give up because nobody's Game gonna help man. us. But yeah, I'm pretty sure the tree's done for, guys. Day four again is what what we got to here. Figures, they start throwing critters at us that we've never encountered before. And we lost the seed. No. They destroyed a tree, guys. So again, we just got to day four, which was. Our... I think we only got to day three last time. No, we got to day four last time. It'll show here what your what your record what your was. Record is, mm -hmm. yeah. But yeah, that was that was a rough one, guys. It's a rough one. So our record is actually three days, and that is considered day three. Okay, so even though it says day four, I don't think they're counting day one as surviving it. Uh, as far as experience earned, that was my record. So I actually earned the most experience that I've earned so far. Yeah, me too. You see, we never killed the big giant before. We got close, one third of health, but you oh, know, each level time four, you get some cool pants. Yeah, I just got level three, which gave me 25 platinum coins. But you know, each one you get new stuff, guys, and uh, you get makes better. the yeah, just like many of these uh, type of roguelites, makes it a little bit easier. Now, typically we unlock something here, but we didn't unlock anything, unfortunately. Well, this you time, get nothing. But you can use those coins that you get here in the shop to get cosmetic items. I don't know if. Everything is cosmetic. It looks like some of these things allow you to craft them. They give you recipes for crafting them. But a lot of it is cosmetics. Yeah, I feel like the mythic ones are the ones that are just cosmetic. Alright, so yeah, I guess we'll just go ahead and start another match if we have if you have time. I mean we can we can start another one, uh, but we won't be able to finish the match, guys. But yeah, we wanna play about another ten minutes or so. So yeah, we'll just go ahead and start another one. Uh, I will have to send Jinx another invite. It always kicks everybody out of your group, yeah, though. Yeah, it's like, get out of here. Mm -hmm. I mean, I guess if you're playing with randoms. So we'll bring Jinx back in, and then we'll we'll try and get another 10 minutes in. Are you, uh... I'm good to go. There you go. Now she, you can see her there. Look at the way she's standing. <laughs> she's ready. I'm so cool. To go, guys. So I was going to start a new game, and again, we'll just go with the... Our group only for now. And let's start out from the beginning again. But we do get that beginning gear. And I imagine that you'll eventually unlock like much better starting equipment. Yeah, that'd be cool. And that'll help you out. So you're not starting out with just villager stuff. Uh, which is the lowest level equipment I believe. It's pretty garbage overall. Which we used for almost the entire match. I think we... <laughs> I might have got the better weapon, the I villager got the weapon too. Bow. I, I always go for that first. Yeah, that's we all. Want to do more damage. That's all we got, guys. And we got this cool looking shield. Remember that it's just a cosmetic. It's it's just regular it old shield. Do anything. Yeah, it just looks cool. Sticks. Oh yes, that's right. We should probably collect resources first. That's why I think I kind of think I'm gonna try out the harvester one. The so you start with that, yeah. so you don't have to to do the basic equipment. Yeah, because I feel like you're wasting so much time just looking for your basic sticks and. Yeah, you know. the the little stuff to pick up. Like for example, right now I'm not finding anything. Oh. But it is nice having a sword. Yeah, and the armor. So that's the other thing I consider is like. How much more damage are you going to take? How much longer is it going to take to defeat, like, enemies? Well, I guess I could roll with you. Yeah, and I could protect you. I guess if we worked as a team for once. Worked as a team? What? As if this was actually a multiplayer <laughs> game or something. I just thought we were trying to ravage as much of the world as possible. Yeah, we almost never stick together. Because it just seems to, to make more sense to... To spread out. Mm-hmm. But yeah, when you get to the more tougher areas, every time I go there by myself, I just find myself getting devastated. Mm -hmm. I think we have everything we need, guys. So let's go ahead and head back inside. We probably have extras, actually. So yeah, we'll head back inside and get the tools. I think there's stuff for potions, too, now. Get that maple. 
Uh, so yeah, we want to... Maple syrup heals the soul. So this time, let's only build one lumber axe and get the pickaxe. There we go, beautiful. All right, so let's go back out, start chopping some to trees down. To the north, down. there's a lot of resources. Is that where you're exploring? No, I'm going south. All right, well, I guess I'll go north then. Start getting all these goodies. Most importantly, though, getting the uh, the souls. Oh, wow, werewolf just came out of that tree. <laughs> <laughs> that was his home. Surprise, bitches. He was not happy with me. me. Chopping this tree down. Golly. <laughs> I don't think I'm blocking any of these. Sometimes I feel like it's just better to just smack them over and over again and give up on the blogging. God, I feel so bad when I smack a deer and it runs too fast and I can't catch it. I'm like, uh. And aren't you really fast, too? Yeah. Hey, again, rolling up there doesn't work and I don't, I don't think you have a jump. Yeah, there's no jump in the game. So, yeah, I think you do have to build the ramps up to that. The question is, how would it be worth it to build a ramp up to here just to get a couple things oh if an enemy dies in the water it's harder to get the goodies what's it too far away yeah hmm. and you can't see where it's at either uh, make sure that you're looking for those those points to travel to and then you're unlocking them what are the campfire spots good for I think the campfire spots are the enemy encampments oh I see all right, so again, we're gonna be a warrior, guys. Jinx will likely be the ranger. Of course. But yeah, I'm pretty sure the uh, campfires are the the enemy bases. I gotta take a peek, but yeah, I think so. Let's get all these goodies here. Now, I find that with most of the stone and the wood and stuff, we don't even use it. Really, the Purpose is really just getting the experience I built a and the bridge souls. Like a boss. Well, there you go, Jinx. Uh, we're moving away from that encampment. I think it's actually up here on this hill. So you know what? We won't be able to take a look at what it is. But I think the the, the little campfires are the the enemy camps where you get plenty of goodies. Treasures. Mm-hmm. And it just booty. feels good doing some killing. Mm-hmm. We'll get you more experience and stuff as well. Souls. I need all the souls. Yeah, we really need to get that tree up. Last time we did a horrible job with the tree. Yeah. Like, much worse than usual. I think we're focusing too much on upgrading the, uh... The, sto the stores. And, yeah, not enough in investing. Yeah, but I feel like investing in your weapons is a good, solid investment. Uh, let's do the fur market. I don't know if we'll actually do it or not, guys. We'll see where they, where it's located on the map. Yeah, I guess we can upgrade in the uh, the blacksmith again. That seems to always be useful. Yeah, okay, we'll get the blacksmith upgraded. I didn't know it had changed up his building too. Well, that's kind of cool. Really? Oh, yeah, it makes his building look. Either. Yeah, it makes his building look better. It's fancier. Mm-hmm. So you upgraded the blacksmith. Yeah. I got the villager sword too. So we're a little bit better, guys. Wonder what happens when you get the tree to ten thousand. Like, does it level up? I don't know. Or if that's just his maximum health, or we never even got it that far, guys. I guess we could kind of work on trying to do it this time. Make it rain. I don't know <laughs> if I spent like a certain amount of souls. The game is very liberal with the trophies, guys. Very liberal. And with the leveling up. Um, you get like special stuff, kind of like in our bigger playthrough. Special stuff? Yeah, like when you level up, you get cool items. Oh, okay. You're talking about your main. Yeah. Leveling up your profile. Yeah, you leveling get to up. Keep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, just like bigger. In that sense. I have no idea where we're going, guys. <laughs> we're just exploring. Which Looking way for did you stuff. go? North or south? Well, I initially went north. And then there's a bunch of walls that stopped me from going any further north. Yeah, I've noticed that about this area, this map that we're playing on. It's a lot. A lot of canyons yeah, and stuff. Like corridors and mm -hmm. stuff. Kind of sucks you down there. Yeah, yep. A little bit harder to get around. Because you never know where it's going to lead you. And then you're like, man, I hope there's resources out here. I'm not just wandering around 
This maze for nothing. Mm-hmm. Oh, I got the enemies fighting. And I did not get any potions back home. Oh, so I'll have to collect those one. here. Okay, so they're coming back to the village tonight. I'll this time, we both need to go back and protect yeah, it. I'm That's here. what we were doing before. And we never had the, the tree's health get that low. And so clearly we were not focusing on defending the village enough. We figured one person could do it, but I, I really don't think that's the best way to go about doing it. So I'll run over to, to the house too and help you defend it. But we're gonna keep gathering up resources as we do. Now so right. with both of us here, we should hopefully protect the tree and keep it go. from taking too much damage. Oh, that's a farm. What do you need to, to upgrade it? Bunch of stuff. You get goodies. Alright, so I will use our souls for our tools first, guys, and then we'll see what we got left to give to the tree. I don't think they're coming yet. I said that they're getting ready. Alright, so we'll give the rest of these they're to the tree. About it. And yeah, still have not gotten the tree very high on the health yet. I think this time we can do it. We'll get it all the way up? Yeah. Yeah, I guess we'll see. At Makes least feels see confident. if it's worth it to get it upgraded. See what it does. Yeah, is it just like extra health? Keep your tree alive? Or getting up to 10,000, does that do something else? Where are they coming from? There is one from the south, but it's just a little guy. Looks like your side is where they're all coming from as of right now. Oh, they're coming from the south now. Coming from whatever direction you're not. Mm -hmm. Wherever you're not. The villagers are really helpful though. Yeah. Especially that healer. Mm-hmm. Pick up all those goodies. I think we're doing pretty good. We haven't let them get to the to the tree yet. Huh. Might have spoke too soon. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like this one's gonna get to the tree. Yeah. Damn it. Get away from my tree. Alright, excellent. So we survived another day, guys. And the tree did not take very much damage. So nice. that's exactly what we want to see each night. Yeah, and I think you gotta have all the members there. Or at least when you have two people, you need to have two members there. Yeah. I can't even imagine how difficult the game is with more than this. Well, yeah, because they say it keeps getting more difficult. But you know what? One thing I've noticed is that games don't always scale like that. Sometimes they just get easier just because you have more people. True. And while the, the enemies do get more difficult, it still ends up being, in general, easier. Which way do you want to go, guys? So Jinx is going to the north. We'll go to the south. I'm just trying to hang out with you. I mean, we can go together if you want, <laughs> Jinx. I feel like we typically don't find ourselves running into enemies that are real challenging, though. True. Except for them freaking lizards. Yeah, that, that uh, dragon guy, I think if we were both together, we could have took him down. Yeah, but there was two of them. Was there? Yeah. Oh, at least all the one. Oh, we got to level up. Let's go and make use of this, guys. I'm over here trying to mine. This guy's <laughs> tanking me. Trying to mind my own business. I'm always like that. I'm like, you need to hold your horses. I'll get to I you in a busy. minute. I am busy. Yeah, I'm just looking for one of the, uh... One of the, uh... Fast travel points, guys. So we'll easily be able to get up here. These guys over here. Archers over here hiding in the trees and shit. Can't see them. Clever. That's what you gotta do. Mm-hmm. They're just gotta do what they gotta do. Now you notice we were able to chop, or we were able to mine something that was up here. If you can get close enough, you typically can't take the stuff that's up there. Yeah. It's not too much of a problem, including hitting enemies that are way up there. It doesn't make any sense, but... It is what it is. Yeah, it is possible. Yeah, this map is interesting. Because it's like there's so many of these canyon corridors mm -hmm. here. Makes getting around 
a lot more difficult than, than typical. I like attacking the barricades. You get like the special goodies. Yeah, they give you all kinds of uh, resources you can use to kind of build your place up. And the giant has come. Uh -oh. Yeah, we're doing a lot better in this one, but I think we're out of time, aren't we? Yeah. So yeah, unfortunately, I think we will have to to end it here. Maybe a few more minutes. Just five more minutes. <laughs> yeah, I knew we wouldn't be able to get through two two matches though. It just takes too long. I'm having fun with the game though. Yeah, it's a fun game. We'll probably play some more tonight, guys. I'm trying to level for the next video. Try and level up. Better. Just get a little bit better because yeah, we're very much in noob town right now. Ouch! Oh shit! Okay, I bet we can roll off into that. Oh shit, the baddies got potions too. Oh, do they? That's not fair. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's only the players get potions. Yeah, I'm the player. I get the potions. Alright, so yeah, this is all this area here is all blocked off, guys. Where did you build the bridge? I don't know, it was down there to like the southwest. Somewhere in one of those corridors. Mm -hmm. those yeah, I'd like I'd like to see your your bridge. Oh, Jinx. Magnificent creation. Yeah. I can't pick these up though. Unfortunately we do have to end this first episode here. I would have liked to see where we we're going. Unfortunately I just won't be able to see that. Cause I feel like this is this will be a good one. I think we could get a little bit further. Although maybe not, because that giant typically destroys everything. Everything. Yeah, if we can get that tree's health up. That'd be pretty useful. Just kind of really invest in that. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, we'll have to end the first episode here. Hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, make sure you leave a like on the video. Subscribe to our channel. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of our content. If you're looking for anything to watch while you wait for the next episode, which I think will be on Thursday, because yeah, I don't think we'll have time to to get another one recorded so we'll have one on Wednesday because this video will likely come out really late Tuesday night if not early Wednesday morning. So the next video will probably be on on Thursday so if you're looking for something to watch while you wait for that Thursday episode check out the front page of our channel we have 3,000 something videos all sorted by genre play a wide variety of games from a lot of different genres oh, looks like our axe broke unfortunately Oh, look at this big old massive yeah, base. Yeah, broke too. This base is huge, Jinx. Look oh, at this place. Wow. That's scary. Yeah, this is one you'd want to take out multiple players, I think. Yeah. Yeah, this would be a challenging one. I bet there's a big old like, treasure box in there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there should be like a good treasure box in here. Uh, yeah, if you're looking for any links, check out the description of any of our videos. You'll find links to our PayPal, Patreon, and Teespring store if you'd like to help support the channel. You also find a link to our Discord if you'd like to join our community. And finally, you'll find a link to all of our social media if you'd like to follow us on there. That's Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, all that good stuff. Yeah, there's a lot of enemies in here. You know, it's, not, it's really not that bad, I guess. They got like a top area with like a oh, golden. A boss. Mm -hmm. That bitch is tough. Don't is she? Work. Yeah. She's not She's that bad. <laughs> She's not that bad. I feel like I could take her. I feel like I got this. Because <laughs> right, she's like a magey type. I think I got it. Yep, she did. I am impressed. Got some extra health potions, some good ones. Ugh, all of our stuff fell down that hill. So this is a prestigious treasure. Ooh. Let's open it up. See what kind of prestigious items we got here. We leveled up. Got an enchanted something. Got some walls. Oh, you got a raider axe. I don't think it's as good. Yeah, we got all kinds of good stuff, guys. A rattle for your baby. Yep, a rattle for the baby. <laughs> I'll all right, so, so yeah, <laughs> we got a lot of a lot of good stuff in that, and there's also ordinary treasure chests in here as well. So there's multiple treasure chests. Oh no, baby! I see him. Oh, he stops you from. Yeah. Well, that's fortunate. Jerk. Now we got to restart the process. Get this open, see what's in here. All right, see, so yeah, we're getting a ton of good stuff here, guys. Have to head back to the crib. We got eighteen hundred souls. Oh wow! Mm -hmm. Don't die. So, yeah, I definitely don't want to die. It's getting dark. So I'll try and get back home, but yeah, I didn't unlock. Yeah, there's no fast travel points over here, so we have to run back. Unfortunately, ugh. Yeah, so that's gonna take a while, guys. I guess it's a good thing you guys are 
missing out on that part. <laughs> you know, this is a, a long walk back home. But yeah, I do hope you guys did enjoy this first episode. But that is unfortunately going to be it for this one. We'll see you guys on the next episode, which again will be coming out on Thursday, likely on Thursday. Uh, so I do hope to see you on that, and thanks for watching.